give it up right now for Eva and keep it going until she gets here. In recent years, I had my mind fixated on the idea that I was too cool to embrace my Mexican culture. Which, looking back, is pretty stupid, considering just a few years ago I couldn't speak proper English. I couldn't speak English until I was thrown into a classroom that forced me to speak nothing else. I do not live in Tucson, where Lurguyo burns like the desert sun, where the streets harbor a generation of coyotes whose insomnia is fueled by the struggle to balance two cultures. No, I live in a small town named after a white man who is good to his brown workers, Douglas. And sure, the climate is slightly cooler and the landscaping is more mountain than it is desert. But my house is a five minute walk from the Mexican border where you can see me on a weekly basis grabbing an assortment of chuchulucos, dulces, papitas, y una coca light para la dieta. <laughs> Thinking back, how did I become too cool to embrace my blood? when I grew up eating sabritas con salsita while playing Grand Theft Auto en las maquinitas y Mario en el Nintendo. <laughs> As a child, a handful of monedas, tazos, canicas were all I needed to be happy. Well, that and some toronjas from Nanairi's tree over an episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> However, in the first grade, I was placed into my district's gifted program, and suddenly, knowing English and all about stupid American pop culture made me feel smart, a dangerous feeling. Ironic, considering just a few years ago I couldn't speak proper English, saddening porque mi mamá no dejó a su tierra para que yo la olvidara. In third grade, we covered a unit on Latino poets and I could just not relate. However, I could relate to German expressionism, I could relate to Russian literature, I could relate to Japanese haiku. But how could that be when I never rubbed dirt off my bloody knees in Germany? I was never given a bath with a garden hose in Russia, and I never rode a burro in Japan. I notice now I get a little angry when people tell me, are you Filipino? <laughs> Do you speak Spanish? Me llamo Eva, not Eva. It's easy to see that my tough exterior has been penetrated by a passion like no other, and I'm glad, because a lot of times, el orgullo is all we have. <laughs> 